Hello, everyone. Well, first, I want to thank you for purchasing your Shove It from me. And uh, here it is. It comes to you in the mail, and we're going to show you how to assemble it here in a quick little video. So once you get your Shove It in the mail, it's going to come in a box like this. You pop this top off. I, of course, have it taped up, but I haven't done that for obvious reasons here for our video. This is the main body and the main tube of the Shove It down here. This would be the Shove It blade and the Shove It handle. Now, when I send these to you, I'm going to be sending it to you just like it's going to be assembled. You see here on the blade, you see the washers on the top? That's how you're going to assemble this. And then this one here, you can see washers on both sides. There's a side A written on here, and there's also a side A on the handle. We'll show you that in a minute. But let's start off, first of all, by attaching the blade. So what we're going to do here, as you can see, the tapered side is going to be the downside of the blade. So what you're going to be doing is you're going to be mounting, whoops, you're going to be mounting the blade on in this fashion here. Okay? Just like that. So that you want to make sure you can see how that's going to be and there'll be no confusion whatsoever. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to back off one of these and I've got them kind of tight so you might have to even use your tools to loosen them and uh, that way they don't get lost when they're in shipping. So we're going to back these off and I'm using a 7 16th socket here and I'm using a 7 16th open end wrench. You could actually use, if you didn't have those, just two adjustable crescent wrenches like almost everyone has these. But to speed it up, we're going to be using these. So we got it in reverse, we pop this on and we're going to loosen that one. It comes off, that one comes off and just let them fall where they may, it doesn't really matter because you're all assembling these back together. Okay, so we've got them all out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to push this first one right through there just like so. And once you get it through, you'll have to line up the hole and then pop all the way through like that. All right, and as you can see, I've got my washer on the top right there so you want the washer on the top and once we get that through then we just put on our our locking washer with the round side out it's kind of a rough side there's the flat smooth side that's going to be against it so the round side out on these locking nuts that I have okay now do not tighten it beyond finger tight because you want to line all these holes up first so now that we got that one we come over to this one and I'm going to grab one of my bolts and a washer and locking nut and you kind of have to look down through here to get this to line up but we're going to get it to line up oops bump head there so we put this through oh sorry first don't forget folks you got to put your washer on top all these washers need to be on top of the blade so now we push this through and then you're going to see where the hole lines up this hole here is where you're pushing this through and straight through just like that Put your nut on the back. This is your locking nut. You got two of them in, okay? Now, we come back down here, get our other washers and bolts and our locking nuts. And one might still be in there. And we're again going to put the washer on top, just like so, and down through here. And you can see that it just pops right straight through. Once you get it through, you're going to put your nut on the back side. There you go, just like that. And then we're going to put the last one in. And again, put the washer on top. Oops. Almost dropped it there. And right through the hole, pushes it straight through. And then you're going to put your locking nut on. And looks like that one that I dropped rolled away on me. So I'm going to use, there it is right there. Perfect. So now we've got all of these in. I'm going to put the nut on top just like so. And now that we've got all of them in place, now it's time to tighten them. And again, you can use your crescent wrenches, but I am going to be using this. So we Tight. Tight. Come over this side. Uh -oh. 
Okay. And tight. Now you got your blade on. All you got to do is assemble the handle. Going to be very simple. On the handle here again, I've already got the nuts and bolts and uh, washers in place. And this says top. Kind of got smudgy a little. Side A and side B. So you look here and you see the side A right there. And this is obviously the top. So you're going to put side A to side A by simply putting this, taking this off of here and push it right down through there. Put your washer on the bottom like that. And then you're locking that on just like that. Got it? And then you're going to do the same thing with this side. Back this off. Go up here. Push it down through. Put your washer. See the washer on the top too. You can see that up there. So washer top, washer bottom. Perfect. Put this back on and you're ready to tighten this into place. Now you can see on the timing of the video just how long it takes to put one of these together. It's very, very quick, very easy. So there you go. Your shoving is complete. It's completely assembled and it's ready to move some snow. We, thought, oh, we sure do appreciate you uh, purchasing your shovel today. Again, we want to say thanks to you. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to call me toll free. My name's Tyler, and my number is 877-392-7296. So thanks a lot. Thanks again. The shove it. You'll love it.